I'm here in the south of France to see how Capgemini is working with the ITER project on one of the most ambitious energy projects in the world today. The ITER project is working to recreate the power of the sun on Earth to give generations to come a more sustainable energy source. I'm now speaking with the head of the ITER engineering domain, Alain Becoulet. Alain, tell us how ITER started. So ITER started a long time ago. It was in the middle of the 1980s, and ITER was seen and decided as a symbol. And what do you feel is the promise of the ITER project? So the promise of the ITER project is really to open the way to fusion energy and future commercial exploitation of this fusion energy by mankind in the coming decades. Can you explain to me what is nuclear fusion? So nuclear fusion is the source of energy that you can get out of the matter when you try to join two small nuclei together. And with so much at stake with the ITER project, can you tell me a bit about Capgemini's involvement in this initiative? So Capgemini is a partner and we are consuming a lot of engineering, a lot of design. Capgemini has many, many assets in terms of engineering, in terms of tools, and really they accompany us for a long time, in particular together with the engineering domain that are leading here. Pierre-Jean, tell us about your role in this project. I am the engagement director leading the group, helping the organization in charge of the construction of the nuclear and non-nuclear building. How and why did Capgemini get involved in this project? Actually, Capgemini has many assets to support such a program. We have some ability to supporting the construction. We have some high mechanical engineering abilities. We have as well some transversal activities in project management and as well with our strength in IT. We are particularly well positioned to support this program. Pierre-Jean said that global collaboration can sometimes be complex and difficult. So can you tell me specifically how you and your team overcome the challenges? You know, you have to take into consideration the people that are working, their diverse background, the cultural aspect of where they grew up and where they're coming from, and you have to really adapt. So what you need to do is really keep an open mind, be very cordial, and understand that we are all here for a certain goal, which is really to make a better future for our family and for, for humankind. So what's essential to this fusion process is the design and building of the tokamak complex. This is where the magic happens. Atoms collide, creating plasma heating at incredibly high levels. And I'm about to speak with Capgemini's chief engineer, Frederick Lopez. And what I've heard is that this complex they're working on has never been done at this scale before. So, Fred, what is a tokamak? A tokamak, I would say, uh, it's the um, uh, most advanced um, fusion machine design. Just to give you an idea of, uh, of this uh, enormous uh, project, the tokamak itself, the machine, is uh, 23,000 tons, three times the weight of the Tour Eiffel. So what value does the Capgemini Design Office bring to this project? Basically, our team of engineers and technicians were to study the feasibility of the vision of uh, ITER scientists and engineers, trying to match with the manufacturability and also the nuclear standards and the codes. Because of the, the constraints of the, the environment, we are always in the development of, uh, of uh, tools and materials for the, the project. With Capgemini, we have developed a kind of trust uh, relationships, develop uh, these components. It was helpful because the team was uh, very uh, skilled and uh, it was uh, a very large type of resources we had. Capgemini has proposed a way of moving forward that will allow teams to have all the data they need in one place to improve decision making. It's called the Digital Twin, and I'm going to meet two of the key Capgemini people behind that. Stella, what is a Digital Twin? A Digital Twin is a virtual representation of a physical object or system. It can be used for a variety of purposes like design, monitoring or testing. It's a collection of all digital tools developed to help our clients. You can navigate into the Digital Twin and see all the properties. I've walked here. We've been here. That's so exciting. Tell me why Capgemini proposed the idea of the Digital Twin. The main idea is to bring all necessary data from our clients and their contractors into this uh, single source of information. By using a digital twin, all stakeholders uh, will be able to extract technical information, to estimate costs, 
to simulate different stages of construction. And for example, designer will be able to identify conflicts in design between different disciplines. So each country can design their own fusion plant, which can provide potentially more efficient and better energy for the future. Sounds like Capgemini is helping to make the future we all want.